don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's MechLord, I'm back from my vacation. I spent some quality time with my family and loved ones and more importantly, not playing Duel Links. But it seems that I came back just in time to enjoy the skill changes. The um, ban list per se didn't go live yet this time of recording, but the skill changes did because for some reason Konami makes these separate updates to the game which really doesn't make any sense considering that you just, you know, push the ban list and skill change it at the same time and preferably as soon as they're announced that three weeks after, but I digress. One of the decks that got their skill change was Gimmick Puppets. Um, and actually, let's take a look at Relinquish Puppet first. So Relinquish Puppet reads like the most insane skill on paper ever conceived. Not only do you get to Foolish Burial a card from your deck for free, but you also get to special summon a playmaker for your archetype. It's kind of like if uh, pre nerf Xyz Galaxy also special summoned Galaxy Cleric from outside your deck for you, just in case you did not open the Galaxy Zero that Galaxy players always opened anyway. However, there were two caveats to this scale being so potent. The first was that you could only uh, summon Dark Number Xyz Monster and the text still hasn't been changed. The second is that you had to play Gimmick Puppets, but no longer! Well, you still have to play Gimmick Puppets, but now you can play any number of Dark Xyz monster, which opens the way for a little bit more options than the likes of Malevolent Sin or Sanofond. Indeed, we are now able to play decent turn on options such as uh, Dingesu, the Orcus of the Evening Star, which also acts as removal turn 2 going forward, and, uh, that's not a card I meant to click, Evil Swarm Nightmare, which is just a decent card in general. It's not all um, good and easy under the sun for Gimmick Puppet though, uh, because Nightmare specifically requires dark monsters and sometimes you can mess up and, and Gear Changer is a, is a nerf monster for some reason. And um, Dreary Doll cannot be used for an Xyz uh, summon except for the Xyz summon of a Gimmick Puppet monster, uh, also for some reason, but I guess like these cards were designed in like 2012, so... But we also get some cards that were designed in like 2000, I want to say 20. That makes up for it. So here's the deck, playing two Terra Babies because I don't have three. But it's really cool to open and to be able to access before uh, using Chimera Doll that locks you into Dark Machine. Uh, sorry, Xyz Machine Monsters. Well, they're all going to be dark because of the skill anyway. Uh, we got two Bisque Doll uh, because it's a good level 8. We got the one Dreary Doll, you'll need more than one because you get a Foolish Up with the skill if you open her. Well, that sucks. We got two Magnet Dolls, just a funky little guy. I really like him. One Gear Changer, this could be a third a Magnet Doll. Sometimes maybe you want to make a, a level 4 so you can go into a Gigantus Doll uh, that you shouldn't be hard to access anyway. We got a Junk Puppet, which is a Monster Reborn for the archetype, and we got Monster Reborn as well. We got two Books of Moon. IDP, Warning Points, and Compulse as our Disruption, with Cosmic Cyclone as Anti-Disruption, and Advanced Draw in order to be able to turbo through our deck and get these Disruption. Spells and Traps in the extra deck, we got two Dengiesus, two Gimmick Puppet of Strings, we got one Evil Swarm Nightmare, we got one Gantis Doll, and we got two Gimmick Puppets. Camera Doll, which is like one of the most insane cards ever given to any archetype, basically allows you to search and in some cases even special summon a gimmick puppet monster for free uh, at the cost of locking you to machine exes type boys for the rest of the um the duel or well, the turn rather. So yeah that's the deck. Let's see how it performs in ranked in a ladder where August hasn't been nerfed yet. <laughs> oh cool I get to play against Todd Eyes my favorite deck of all time. It's really cool. Like it's like so. This guy is like it's one of these people that play the Legacy Duel event and um, doesn't actually send a, a, a nice back, even though they are gonna bitch about like uh, not getting nice. It's it's just it's just so much fun. It I, they opened the of course they opened it. It's not like the, 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 this deck is like so inconsistent. I'm really surprised that they get to open the combo. Oh, Raging Pendulum. It's a good thing that the skill nerfs went live and this skill wasn't touched at all. 
I don't want to play already. <laughs> I already, I'm already done wanting to play. Uh, do I just open Marvel Snap? What do I do? Oh, is he gonna go for Dweller? Yeah, well, I would to lose against Dweller anyway, so I don't need to, don't need to see what happens next. Um, yeah, such a fun deck. Oh, cool! It's against Destiny Heroes, so I might actually get to play. DLM says this is the tier one deck. Like, really? My fellas, Odd Eyes still exists. Odd Eyes is still the most played deck ever. Like, okay, you know what? If we take a look at, um, well, first of all, if you take a look at the the power rankings, it's obvious that Odd Eyes is actually the best deck and not fucking Destiny Hero, which is like huge, like massive copium. It's like it's close, but like Odd Eyes is, is still in front of in terms of of like power rankings. And if you take a look at tournaments, like, they have the same number of tops, right? Odd Eyes is spread across a bunch of variants, and it seems to me that the variants that play Magistus specifically outperforms every other variant to the point where it's, like, in a league of its own. It's kind of like... You know, separating Orcus from Gendora Orcus. Which is also not something that um, this tier list is uh, willing to... Well, actually, you did it, so... I'm, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, so I opened the Dreary Doll, which kind of sucks. One Cosmic. I'm not going to go far with one Cosmic. If I draw a second, maybe. That's uh, not great. That is not great. Uh, first we get rid of this. It's a Book of Moon. Let's see... So which one... Okay, this one prevents targeting from card effects, so I'm gonna... Go for this one. I'm gonna immediately activate it. Just to insulate myself. This is like the last point of... Um, interaction for my opponent. At this point, I can... It doesn't make sense to you to normal summon Terra Baby here. I'm just gonna have to destroy it, special the Dreary Doll, and normal summon Terra Baby. It's a really cool thing that this archetype has, like, built-in protection, um, because it's kind of dog shit. <laughs> I'm being rude. I'm being mean to this completely fair and fine deck. So this can target and destroy any card on the field, which is very funny. Uh, I, th I think I want to advance draw here. Very funny that death draw is not once per turn, by the way. There's like an added, added bonus on top of everything else. Ooh, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. So I get to make Chimera Doll. At this point, he's going to Dystopia, he's not going to... Uh, well, he did read. He did read. He, he, he did the read. I think this is what I need to do. Uh, What if I Book of Moons here? Now, you know what? I'm going to wait until the very last second to try and Book of Moon. What's in my grave? I have to banish the destroy. No, actually. Because if I draw the second arrow baby, I can still use the destroy. So I think this is like a bit better. I'm not sure though. Mm, thinking. No, I think I want to banish the, the, the destroy. I think I want to keep the terror baby for like another turn, potentially. Uh, gimmick Puppet of Strings. Is gonna be my, my playmaker here. Still hasn't fired up the Dystopia yet. Um, do I Book of Moon to try and, and, and bait it? So I can't... I don't want to crash into it, so I think I have to Book of Moon anyway. The, uh, the uh, dystopia. And then you activate it. 
Pops the Book of Moon. But it's not a complete loss for him. Well, it, it, it is kind of a complete loss for him. Anyway. They left to back row. Beat over. Actually, the... Um, the Dystopia is no threat to me at all. So I think I'm going to go for the Wonder Driver. Which can special the hero from hand, but I don't think I care. Like, I know the what last card in hand is, right? Something that he added back with the, um... The, uh, what's it called? Decider. I don't think this is a good position to be in. Polymerization is the last card. So, if I compulse... I think I have to... Compulse this, and then... Warning point, the inevitable. Yeah, I fucking knew it. God damn it. Maybe I should not have composed this. Maybe I should not have composed this. I'm still gonna warning point it though. So whatever he draws will have to be enough. Next time I can search Terra Baby and. I'm not sure what my play is. Discarded Celestial, which is pretty good. It's not going to be able to use it this time, though. It's a Drill Dark. Okay, all's fine. That doesn't do anything. Like, he's going to add Plasma, but then he's going to shuffle Plasma back in his deck. I am not worried. I am not worried at all about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do you. Special Zamali. Goes to battle. Beat over Chimera Doll. It's fine. I think it still was correct to... um. Compose the, um, that doesn't work. Compose the, um, dystopia. The question is, how do I kill him, though? I won't like this, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of this. We detach the dreary doll, which is going to be relevant later. We beat over the Sunrise, he's gonna get to draw a billion trillion cards. That's gonna suck for me. That's not gonna be good for me. That's a problem. Oh, it's a thing he can set to, so he's gonna get to Celestial. God damn it. I hope that he draws the Plasma and then goes for it. If I can get a Compulse and Plasma, I'm... I'm I'm so happy. The slider, it's definitely gonna be Compulsion Plasma. While this guy thinks about his, like, play, um, I have some more grievances about the, the, the tier list. Like, Infinite Track is acknowledged, but has more, like, recent tops than August. It's a couple of, like, first place, a bunch of, like... Uh, yeah, okay, sure. I don't care about that. Bunch of like top fours and stuff. Um, I don't think I want to let you do that. I don't think I want to let you keep this. If I put this back in your extra deck, it's completely fine. Oh, this puts this back in your hand, even though it, it's gonna deal no damage. I'm dragon as about the same amount of tops as Gandora and Guki. Doesn't get a mention, even though like its biggest um, counter has been taken off the equation. Crusadia gets a mention, but it's less tough than Ursartix. Then again, Ursartix is like it's not even actually it's not even the job of like one person anymore. Cause like it's that guy's that guy. He's not the only one topping with Ursartix. More builds are being explored. I guess like mostly uh, the Arm Dragon craze is mostly Geophia, but um. I think I lose this game. I think this game is a loss. I think this game showcases why uh, Gimmick Puppets isn't um, Destiny Hero just yet. <laughs> yeah. Can I win with 500 life points? Uh, uh, might be able to. Might just be able to. I think I have to use Dreary Doll as a meat shield for the time being. That's always fun. That's always a fun, 
one time. Is he gonna compose it? It's not, it's not a compose, that's a book of moon. That's a crackdown, but... That kinda sucks. That kinda sucks, but also it kind of doesn't. But actually, it kind of just sucks. Uh, then you can, so I don't have to, right? I can just... Wait, I can just steal the sunrise. And... Turtle with it. Well, no, I can't. But I still can, actually. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna... Why can't I steal the sunrise? Hmm. Yes, it has to be fusion summon specifically. Uh, so I lose no matter what here, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, this sucks. Let me check. Uh, I, I lost this one as well. Let me check something. I need to check if sunrise can't be summoned other than by fusion summon, in which case it's bullshit because I'm pretty sure. Must be fusion summon. It was. Why wasn't I able to IDP? No, oh, whatever. Uh, this is gonna be August pre nerf. This is gonna be the last guy on August. Wow, am I really like. I thought it was. Four losses, not just three. Oh well. Um, Because I'm definitely on my third loss, but I don't think I'm on my fourth. Anyway, I get to go first for once, so maybe I'll actually win a game. Destroy, very accurately destroys itself. Uh, magnet doll. And another magnet doll. And now what do I do? Do I go for Dingesu, which is like the boring thing? Do I go for... Actually, no, I know what I do. I go for Chimera doll, Dingesu. I'm a genius for this. I'm a genius for this. Check this out. Bring back the Dreary Doll. Dreary Doll and one of the Magnet Doll makes Chimera Doll. And Chimera Doll searches me... I can search Terra Baby, I didn't think of that. I can search Terra Baby and then I get to... Oh, that's, that's Scorpion, that's bad. I'm just gonna special the uh, Bisque Doll, right? Yeah. Add Bisc Doll, Special Bisc Doll, make Dingesu. If I can't make Dingesu because I missed something obvious, I'm going to be very upset. No, I can't. Oh, the first actual summon of uh, Dingesu in this whole game. And I'm even going to get to use its effect to attach the Destroy. That's fantastic. That's just rich. Set one. Set two. It's like an Orcus combo, but even worse. <laughs> I guess you get to play Limit 3 stuff. I'm not convinced that this deck is, like, really good. It might be Cog-worthy. Oh, it's definitely Cog-worthy against Set 1 Pass. And the Orcus player that bricked. Yeah, it's definitely on Orcus, and he definitely opened, like, really bad. What's in my grave? Dreary Doll and nothing. Okay. Well, Gear Changer is a fucking shitty, shitty top deck. And I can't special because... Well, actually, I don't think I care. Goodbye. I'm gonna go for the second thing. No, I can't! Because this can't be used as material except for fucking gimmick puppet shit. It's fine. It's fine. It's completely fine. He has one interaction. And even if I don't win this turn, there's a huge turn that I win next turn anyway, so... Gimmick Puppet of Strings! There he is! Changes to attack. Of uh, Chimera Doll. We're gonna get the uh, Terra Baby for later. And unless this is like a relevant piece of back row, this should be lethal. Depending on what this is, but it's definitely a half aura. This is just, just August half aura. This is just August half aura. This is just what it is. Oh, symbols, uh, brass bombard rather. That's close enough. Oh, here's a thing you can activate in damage? 
Is it Forbidden Lens? I don't think it matters if it's Forbidden Lens or Chalice. If it's Chalice, you definitely missed your chance to activate it. If it's Lance, a bit more understandable. Oh, wow. Actually, we won a game. Huh. All it took was for this guy to break immensely. All things considered, this deck is not bad. But it really, really quickly runs out of steam. I get it's an aggressive deck that aims to close out the game as quickly as possible, but it doesn't even have the um the as good as good as many good tools as like you know stuff like Arm Dragon, which is that which has that to pop the field, and Arm Dragon level and Thunder to um, act as disruption during your opponent's turn. Uh, it's not bad, but it could be a lot better. I'm not sure how though, because most of the gimmick puppet cards are just well, they're gimmick puppet cards, I guess. Like this is basically a three thousand vanilla. So until we get a gimmick puppet card that actually does something on the on the offensive, I don't think uh, this deck is gonna get much much better than this. Maybe a third terror baby helps for turn one setups, but my issue is more like closing out games after said turn one, you know. Oh well, it's still cool that it got buffed, and I think it's one of these decks that absolutely should get that chance to shine in Duel Links, considering it's basically a no-show, a fan favorite, but a no-show in the, the TCG and the OCG. This being said, uh, thank you for watching this video, I'll be back shortly with more videos, because I'm back from my vacation now and the band list goes live tomorrow, so I might be like, gonna try to grind for Karg this month. I have like, seven days left. That's gonna be fun. Thank you for watching once again. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys and gals and non binary pals next time.